Okay, now we study the maximum and the minimum. Maximum and minimum are sometimes called extreme, extreme value of a function. Maximum or, or minimum and minimum. The first, we uh, get the definition of local maximum and uh, minimum. Local maxim maximum are defined as uh, for all x, y in a neighborhood of f, a, b. Uh, of a b that's for all x belongs to a neighborhood a b third which what means uh, the neighborhood the neighborhood of a b if this point is the point a b the neighborhood is a uh, open disk centered at a b that uh, that's the local maximum yeah, less or for all x uh, x or y that is x or y belongs to the neighborhood but uh, x or y but x y not a b maybe we can say that this is less or equal to FAB. The local minimum. The local minimum is that's defined uh, inverse uh, the reverse. That is for FX Y greater or equal to FAB. <clears throat> then we say that uh, for all the local maximum may be this as a for a b if a for a b satisfies that f x y less or equal to f a b then f a b is called the local maximum the local minimum is f a b if for f x y belongs to your neighborhood it's an open disk for for one neighborhood is okay for all x y in this neighborhood that's the local maximum and the local minimum uh, if uh, there's if uh, f x a b uh, greater or equal to all f x y in the domain we say that f a b is abs is an absolutely maximum absolute absolute maximum that is f a b greater or equal to all f x y for all x y belongs to the domain and absolutely absolute uh, minimum that is for all f uh, for all x y belongs to the uh, domain f a b less or equal to f x y That's the local and uh, absolute maximum and minimum. Uh, sometimes we we say that uh, maximum and minimum maximum and minimum are called extrema.
extrema. That means uh, extrema uh, contains maximum and minimum. That's the definition of uh, maximum and minimum. Then how to find the maximum and the minimum? There is, a, there is a necessary condition we uh, use uh, this uh, uh, this theorem. Uh, this uh, necessary condition as a theorem. theorem. If fx and fy exists and fxy continues, at a b and uh, obtains and uh, f x y obtains extrema at a b then Then fx at ab equals zero and fy ab fy at ab equals zero. This is not uh, this theorem is not uh, hard to uh, to prove. Let's see. This point is ab. This point is a b. Then we, if we fixed y as y equals b, and uh, then f yes, f x b is a function of x. We call this function of as g x. Is uh, this is a function of x? So g I, g at the derivative of g a uh, the derivative of g at a equals zero because uh, at a uh, uh, g a is the maximum or minimum for g x so g uh, the the derivative of g uh, at a equals zero the g a the, the derivative of gx at a equals fx a b equals zero, and uh, if we fix the x uh, at a, then this function uh, then fx y is a function of y if we fix x, so h uh, the derivative of h equals uh, at b equals zero. And uh, derivative h that is that is f uh, that is f y at a b equals zero by the famous theorem. This is a necessary condition, and uh, so. Uh, and so if we want to find the maximum and the minimum, we first we find the fx and fy equal zero, the point where fx and fy equal zero. And some uh, and uh, the point that the the the, the uh, partial derivative does not exist because for the uh, in the single value calculus we know that the uh, extrema, uh, the extrema occurred at the uh, critical point, and uh, uh, in the critical point, and the critical point are uh, uh, critical points are the derivative derivative equal zero or does not exist. Uh, here we uh, don't don't uh, we don't we don't want to discuss with uh, uh, with the critical point that 
the gradient does not exist. And uh, this is the theorem. Uh, the, the necessary condition for the maximum and the minimum. And uh, there is another theorem. This theorem is the uh, sufficient condition for uh, the sufficient, sufficient sufficient condition for extrema. If f x a b equals zero, and f y a b equals zero, and uh, f x x f x y f y y r uh, continuous at a b then we let a equals f x x at a b b equals f x y at a b and uh, c equals f y y at a b then there, there's there are some cases the first uh, and let d equals a c minus b square then the first if d greater than zero and uh, a less than zero then f a b is a local Maximum. The second is if d greater than zero and uh, a greater than zero, then f a b is local minimum. And if D is less than zero, then F A B is called a saddle point. And if D equals zero, then this in this case we don't know we don't know what is FAB. Uh, we are going not to prove this theorem here. Mm, we will prove it uh, in some other video. Now let's use this uh, theorem to find the maximum and the minimum. The first example that uh, that if the f x y equals x x cube minus y cube uh, plus plus three x square plus three y square minus line x find local extrema of f x y the local extrema the extrema is uh, the extrema are local maximum and the mi minimum to find the um, local maximum and the minimum first first we take the derivative the first derivative that f x and let the uh, first derivative equal zero. f x uh, is three x square plus six x minus line. We can write it as three x square plus two x minus three, and let this equal zero. We got x uh, 
x plus 3 and x uh, minus 1 equals 0. So we got x equals negative 3 and uh, 1. Fy, xy equals negative 3y squared uh, plus 6x. If we let this equal 0, oh, oh there's no, that's uh, 3y. If we let this equal 0, we got y, 3y, uh, negative y plus 2 equals 0. Then we got y equals y equals uh, 0 and uh, 2. So there's two values for x and two values for y. So there's four point, four critical point. Then we use the uh, second theorem to de determine in determine whether these four points are local, maximum, or minimum. So there's four, there's four critical points. Oh, there are four critical points. X equals negative three, y equals zero. X equals negative three, y equals two. And uh, x equals 1, y equals 0, and uh, x equals 1, y equals 2. Now we uh, take the second derivative, fxx equals uh, 6x plus 6, fxy equals 0, and f y y equals negative 6 y plus 6 and we that's uh, that's the second derivative now we uh, discuss for i uh, discuss the d we evaluate the d at every point at negative 3, 0, fxx x at negative 3, 0, that is x equals negative 3, y equals 0, so that is negative 18 plus 6 equals negative 12, fxy at negative, fxy is always 0, fyy at negative 3, 0. y equals 0, that is equals 6. So, a, c, minus b squared, that is negative 12 times 6. That's less than 0. So, so negative 3, 0 is saddle point. In the second point at negative 3, 1, or negative 3, 2. f x x at negative 3, 0, that is still negative 12. f x y at this point is 0. And f y y at negative 3, 2, that is uh, negative 6 times 2 uh, plus 6, that is negative 6. So AC minus B squared, that is negative 12 times negative 6, that, that is 72, that is greater than 0. And uh, A less than 0. So uh, the point negative 3, 2 is a local 
maximum. The third point Uh, there is uh, only when d greater than zero, there is a local local extrema, and uh, and uh, uh, the d the d only when d greater than zero, there is a lo local extrema. When d greater than zero, a less than zero is local maxima, and d greater than zero, a greater than zero, that is local minimum. Now at at uh, one zero at one zero f x x at one zero that is uh, six plus times one plus six that is twelve and uh, f x y at one zero that is zero and f y y at one zero that is six so d equals a c minus b square that is uh, 12 times six minus zero that is 72 is greater than zero and a is 12 greater than zero so the point one zero is local minimum and the fourth the last point uh, is one Two at one two f x one two that is twelve f x y still zero at this point, but but for x y uh, it's always zero and f y y at this point At this point, that's uh, negative six times two uh, plus six. That is negative twelve. So AC uh, AC minus B square. That is uh, that is twelve times negative twelve. That is negative one one hundred and forty-four. It's less than zero. So this point one two is a side point. So the local local maximum the value of local local maximum is at uh, F negative three two and the local minimum and local minimum is uh, local minimum is at F F one zero set the point set the points are F uh, negative three zero F negative three zero and f one two that's the maximum and the minimum we uh, we use this uh, 
sufficient condition here to determine if a point is a maximum, minimum, or set point. This is the conclusion for the maximum and the minimum.